Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a quick look at Stick Season by Noah Kahan. Just thought of remaking uh, the video one more time because I think the song uh, is going kind of pretty uh, viral right now. So just thought of uh, like remaking uh, the lesson, just going a bit more slower, maybe just show you guys a bit more uh, properly, in depth, not rushing like the previous one. So no capo, standard singing. I'll show you guys the studio version. So basically the way which he plays. Uh, so we have just four chords for the whole song. If you have a look at it, it's A major, mute, open, second, 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 open. Then you got an E, open, second, second, first, open, open. Then we have an F sharp minor where you bar the whole second fret, fourth fret on A and D. Then you got a D major, which is mute, mute, open, second, third, second. But I also play the D major chord like this, uh, which he does. Fifth fret on E, fifth fret on A, fourth fret on D, open G, third fret on B. The high E string is actually muted, so keep that in mind. Now, uh, if you hear the song, I know the main uh, thing is basically the riff which we have, and uh, it's like a bit of finger picking going throughout. So let's have a look at the right hand. I'm using my thumb to plug the top three strings, which includes E, A, D. Thumb for E, A, D, right? After that, you got your index for G, middle finger for B, ring finger for the high E string. Now, the chord progression for the whole song is likely A, E, F sharp minor. D. and that just repeats throughout the whole song so the first chord which we have is an A major so what we're doing is there's a simple pattern which we have which goes for all the chord shapes now if you look at the pattern it's basically have plucking the bass note then plucking the D and B string together and then playing D G D B so kind of small cheat code which you can just note down memorize so we have plucking the bass note then D B together then D G D B and we do this four times for every chord shape, excluding the D major, while we're doing a bit differently. So I have open E string as the bass note of A major chord, so I'll play. Then I'll go to the E major chord, the bass note is now the open E string, so I'll play. Same thing, E and B plug together, then D, so E open, then D and B plug together, I'm sorry. Same thing. Then the same thing on the F sharp minor, this time the bass note is second fret on the E string, so we have. For the D major chord, it goes like this. What I'm doing is I'm plucking uh, the D and B, the D string first open, then I plug the D and B string together, then I play D, G, D, B four times so we got and when you put it all together it sounds like this but again you have to practice a lot and just keep the thing in your mind from ting ticket from ting ticket and then only you can be you'll be able to play properly so one two three four And now we'll have a look at the strumming pattern. Uh, the pre chorus, if you notice, is basically just one dance in every chord. So we strum A major, one dance stroke, rest, then E, rest, then F sub minor, rest, then D. And then you finally go to the chorus, and it basically will try to mimic that picking pattern which we just did. So it will be going down, 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 up, down, up. 
So what I'm doing is the first down is soft, the second down is loud. So down, down, then down, up, down, up. So, so down, 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 up, down, up. Four times. Two, three, four, E. That's a minor. I can play the G over here, the D over here, or you can play the D over here. Doesn't matter. But make sure when you play the, try to mute the G string when you're playing the D major in this shape. So, sound like this. What happens sometimes for the end part of the chorus is we, after we played the whole chord progression, normally, like this, when we play the D major chord, we play the D major for half a bar, like this, and we go back to E major. So what happens is the D major instead of playing the string pattern twice, just play, I mean playing the string pattern four times, just play it twice, and the rest of the string pattern sh shall be done on the E major chord. So the E major just comes uh, and takes the place of the D, and that's basically the whole song. There you have it. So I hope the video helped you out. This was kind of like the most clearest explanation that I'll be able to give, and uh, that's the most I think the best way to learn the song, most accurate way. So make sure you guys subscribe for uh, regular lessons like this, and again. Make sure you drop me one of these because otherwise this video won't be getting promoted. So do it and I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.